My name is Ted Barcello from Albert Einstein College of Medicine, and I'm going to describe my JGP paper entitled Molecular Dynamics Simulations of the Connexin 26 Hemichannel Evaluation of Structural Models with Brownian Dynamics. The crystal structure of the Connexin 26 gap junction, published by Medea et al., was surmised to represent that of the biological open channel. However, the structure was incomplete lacking the N-terminal methionine residue and the side chain of lysine 15, residues that form a portion of the pore lumen and thereby are expected to influence ion permeation. Also undefined in the crystal structure were the 15 residues forming the cytoplasmic loop, which is positioned near the cytoplasmic entrance, and the nine residues that comprise the cytoplasmic C-terminal domain. The objectives of this study were threefold. First, to complete the crystal structure. Second, to refine the completed structure with all atom molecular dynamic simulations. And third, to determine by comparisons of computations and experimental measurements which, if any, of the three structural models correspond to the structure of the open hemichannel. The first slide presents the three structures in top and side views. The bottom panel shows the pore radius of each along the length of the channel pore. The left panel is that of the published crystal structure with each of the six channel subunits depicted by different colors. The center panel, the completed crystal structure. The right panel, the average equilibrated structure, defined as the structure that most closely corresponds to the average position of each atom following MD simulation. The significant feature is the constriction formed in the central region of the channel pore by the end terminus in the crystal and completed crystal structures. The pore diameter in the crystal structure is 10 angstroms in this region, but substantially narrowed to less than 6 angstroms when the end terminal methionine is added. With MD equilibration, the pore diameter increases substantially to 12.8 angstroms. In our hands, Single connexin 26 hemichannels display a range of current voltage relations ranging from slight inward to slight outward rectification. The IV relations of the three structures were computed by a Brownian dynamics method developed by Benoit Roux and colleagues. The crystal structure, delta met 1 in panel A, the completed crystal in panel B, and the average equilibrated structure in panel C. Cation current is depicted by the blue lines, anion current by the red lines, total current, the sum of cation and anion currents, by the black lines. Superimposed experimental traces corresponding to the linear IV relation are shown in gray. The upward deflections apparent in the experimental current traces at negative potentials correspond to channel occupancy in a voltage-dependent closed state. In all cases, the computed current voltage relations deviate from experimental. The computed current voltage relation of the average equilibrated structure displays less inward rectification and reduced anion selectivity compared to the crystal and completed crystal structures. The inward rectification of these channels can be explained by the segregation of positive and negative charges along the length of the channel pore. A potential solution to this problem came from Andrew Harris's lab. Harris and colleagues showed that connexin 26 hemichannels are extensively post-translationally modified. Modifications include neutralization of positive charge by acetylation of MET1, indicated in blue, and internal lysines, indicated by green and red an increase in negative charge by carboxyglutamation, indicated in orange. We explored the effect of combinations of these charge modifications individually and in a variety of combinations by changing the charge of modified residues in the PDB files of the three test structures. Neutralization of positive charges associated with MET1 and six internal lysines in the average equilibrated structure provided near-perfect correspondence to outwardly rectifying IV relations observed experimentally. 
The variation observed in the experimental IV relations appears related to the number of lysine residues that are acetylated. Notably, these channels become moderately cation selective in agreement with published studies of the charge selectivity of connexin 26 channels. The increased cation selectivity is a consequence of the accentuation of the electrostatic effect of the negatively charged aspartate residue at the second position following neutralization of the N-terminal amine of the MET1 residue. Acetylations of only the internal lysines produce channels that rectify inwardly and remain anion selective. The computed IV relations of the equilibrated structure reflecting specific combinations of acetylations and carboxyglutamations correspond less closely to experiment. The major deviation is the prediction of almost perfect cation selectivity for all channels modified by gamma carboxyglutamation. In contrast, all combinations of charge modifications of the crystal and completed crystal structure produced IV relations that deviate markedly from the experiment, supporting the view that these structures do not represent the open channel structure. The average equilibrated structure obtained by all atom MD simulation closely corresponds to the structure of the biological open channel when specific charge changing protein modifications are considered. While the crystal structure does not represent the open state, it provides a sufficiently accurate starting point for structural refinement by all atom MD simulation. Acetylation of N-terminal methionine and internal lysines are likely important determinants of connexin 26 conductance and charge selectivity. Regulated acetylation provides a means of fine-tuning connexin 26 permeability to charged molecules and may represent an important physiological regulatory mechanism.